Today we are going to learn about few uh, basic things under the channels and summary. So I'll just select uh, any one of the channel over here and uh, we can uh, give the channel name over here as we know it from before and if you go to data types it will give us the option of changing it from the inbound outbound the type of uh, HL7 version 2 or version 3 or like JSON raw XML so here we have the option of uh, source and destination for example it's inbound and outbound and how the changes are going to be reflecting it over here and this is uh, one destination where we are using it so when you go over here to the destination we have only one destination we can add multiple destinations over here so this is one thing so there's an option of delete destination and add new destination so there's a destination too I can give an option over here as test so when we save it this will reflect here as a test destination the second one so you can again change it uh, depending upon the number of destinations you have it over here so uh, we can look at uh, initial state over here so this will help us to understand that when the channel is deployed it should get started or it should be in the pause state or stop state so this selector has started what I'll do I'll just keep it as stopped and save the changes I'll go back to the channel reader one over here and I'll try to deploy it yes so when you see the dashboard it's not there because it was in the pause state right now I'll go ahead and change it to start save it and deploy it yes you can uh, see it in the dashboard over here so depending upon the state uh, when you deploy it it will go into the dashboard or not the changes will generally reflect to be more precise what I'll do I'll just go ahead and change it to the pause and save it I'll deploy it once again so it is one channel reader P when I deploy it you can see in the dashboard uh, it's in the pause state and one one is set it to stop and one is set it to start so depending upon the options we got over here we can change the initial state uh, this will be useful when we are doing something major production changes and we don't want it to start at once and we need to start it all together uh, by clicking manually so we can uh, use this type of option generally it's better always to keep in start position so we are also going to learn about tags over here so when you can see like uh, there's an option known as tags in the summary part so I just want to give you something like ADT and click enter and you can save it when you go back to channels so I just want to search uh, a few of the channels which have been tagged as ADT I'll just type ADT and you got option here I'll just click enter once again yep this is the one channel which we have tagged as ADT so this is the way we can search uh, multiple channels uh, with the name of message type or like whatever tags you have been given over here and even we'll practice uh, we'll just remove this and you can see all the channels are over here so depending upon your requirement uh, you can give the tags uh, on whatever uh, your requirement is like whether with the port number or whether the IP address so if for example I want to type something like uh, 2051 so I just want uh, all these ports uh, all, all the database readers which are connected to these ports or like TCP readers uh, I just want this uh, as a code number to the particular application I'll just give it over here and do the changes I'll go back to I'll just deploy it I'll go back to channels and click over here and type 2301 so we can see all the interfaces which are uh, reflected with the ports over here so this is how uh, it's uh, always easy to track uh, uh, with the tag search option and there is also something known as uh, GUID so if we go back to channels I'll just remove this over here and for each every channel we have an ID over here which is pointing to those channel in the database even it is mentioned over here as an ID and even we have something known as revision this is very very important if we go to dashboard you can see everything is zero so there's nothing new uh, revised over here what I'll do uh, I'll take this as a reference of channel the revision is zero I'll go ahead and change something over here I'll add another tag uh, ADT 
2 okay I'll press enter and change and I'll go back to channels it should generally mention it give me a second so uh, here is example we can see 0 as a revision ID I'll click over here and there are always like seven revisions have been done to this channel from the day I have created like changing the name or changing the transformers or anything inside it so the current uh, ID for the revision is zero here means the latest change uh, is nothing before it has been moved to the production over here so the dashboard so what I'll do I'll just change it to P3 it's nothing but a name change so you can see the revision ID is 7 over here I'll just save it I won't deploy it I'll just save it you can see the revision is 8 means there are like 8 revisions have been done to this channel for example I'll just go ahead and change it to P4 you can see the revision is being changed so from the day we have been creating these channels we can note down the revisions over here so I'm not going to deploy this into the production so I'll just go ahead and click the channels so you can see there have been latest two, two changes which have been done to this channel and not been uh, pushed to the production environment. 